Hi, this is Dr. Schmidt. So I just want to show you something really quickly. This is a concept that I figured out last week and it may have, it's a little bit embarrassing that it took me over 20 years to figure this out. But once in a while, I would have a patient coming into the office and they would say, half of my body is a problem. I have pain or I have numbness or I have tingling. It's only one half of the body. And last week I had a patient tell me that it was her left side of her body. And I started thinking about this, well, why is it that only the left side is a problem and not the right side? I was also thinking, what is the most common side of the body that people complain of when they're complaining about one half of the body? Well, it's the left side. And why is that? Well, I learned this in school back in the 90s, and it has to do with the lymphatic system. There's actually two lymphatic systems. This is the sewer system of your body, and there's two sections of it. And here you have the right side, right head, right arm, and right torso. And then you have the left side, left head, left arm, left torso, and the whole rest of the body. So when people say, my left side is always weak, or it's my left, um, I have pain on the left side, and it's not neurological, they didn't have a stroke on the right side of their brain. That's not the factor. If you rule that out and the, circul and the nervous system function is good from head to toe, what's the other remaining system that divides the body in half? And it's the left um, lymphatic system that is actually bigger than the right and can cause more trouble. So I just wanted to share that with you because some people are, you know, they're suffering from something on the left side. They've been through scans, they've never had a stroke and it's simply the lymphatic system. Now, there's no hospital that treats the lymphatic system unless you have cancer and they strip lymph nodes out of your armpit or they're taking lymph, no lymph nodes from some part of your body. And um, I have a lot of different nutritional supplements that help the lymphatic system. I'm working with this with a lot of people to get the circulation of the lymph going. Now, the amount of fluid in your lymphatic system is more than double what's in your circulatory system. And this is where your immune system is. This is the lymph nodes. They have the white blood cells. And the white blood cells eat up all the garbage and debris and bacteria, and et cetera, et cetera. And then it dumps the lymph right into the blood. The lymph has to be clean before it gets dumped into, into the blood. And if it's not, that's uh, one of the beginning aspects of disease is dirty lymph, um, dirty lymph fluid not being thoroughly cleaned and then getting dumped straight into the bloodstream. I'm going to share with you a story. I just had a patient recently. She's been with me for many years, but in the last month she's had incredible healing. And one of her complaints is eczema on her skin, both of her hands right here. And it's dark and uh, cracking, bleeding, painful, itching. It comes and goes on her body for many years. Well, since I last saw her, she got three parasites out of her sinuses that came out of her nose and then her hands completely healed up. It's actually quite amazing. And I'm sharing this story with you because her problem was up here in her sinuses. She had parasites here and it cleaned up this part of her body. So I'm sharing this with you because everything's related to everything. And when somebody says, I have a problem with you know, blank, they name an organ or they name a body part. That's not necessarily a true statement. That problem is the symptom, but what exactly is the cause? And it could be in a completely different location. So for example, people have feet burning and cracked heels because of liver dysfunction. You can have gallbladder dysfunction causing diarrhea in the intestines. You can have gallbladder problems causing right shoulder pain. You can have heart problems causing left shoulder pain. And I'm not talking about shoulder pain down the arm. Well, yeah, that could be a heart attack. But a chronic left shoulder pain that doesn't go away with physical therapy, or even if it does respond a little bit to physical therapy, oftentimes I'm finding a heart uh, situation that needs really good nourishment, specific organ support with supplements for the heart, plus, of course, the good diet. So I drew this whole big body here for you to understand we're looking globally, holistically, on the whole body, not just, oh, you have eczema on your hands, let's put cream on it. Or, you know, you have a lab test that shows liver enzymes are high, let's, you know, do something for your liver. You gotta look at the whole big picture 
from head to toe to fully understand your symptom picture, what your body's trying to tell you, and how to fix it. Okay, if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And if you need some personal help, you can contact our office.